Last October, I received the top secret mission. A challenge so difficult it would shut down my YouTube channel for months. It all started from a message on Discord from a person named Eggbeater353. I don't usually respond to strangers on the internet, but I was intrigued at the mention of a challenge. He sent me a picture of a scroll and asked if I wanted to open it. I was scared, but my curiosity got the best of me. The first thing I noticed was a chart of rare runescape items. And there, in the center, was a dragon cup. Which meant this was not an ordinary game of bingo. No, this one would take place on a special server called the RuneScape League. Today, RuneScape sees the release of the brand's new game mode. Oh my god, we're in. We're in. Everyone's an Iron Man. XP rates are boosted by five at first. Leagues are split up into nine areas. That's right. Without knowing what the consequences would be, or even what the reward was, I signed the contract. Login authorized. Login authorized. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's do this. Uh, let's go. Skilling Prodigy. I'm picking this. Run! Oh, I should be quiet. It's 530. I just yelled. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, where's Rat Juicer? God, we need to <laughs> stick together. Let's get this guy. Oh, I picked the arrows, dude. I'm such an idiot. I fucking picked the arrows. I'm going straight to Draenor, dude. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I'm done. There's so many people. Oh, wait, we have Skilling Prodigy. <gasps> we have Skilling Prodigy. Oh my god. Honestly, let's go send the Stronghold. Get a few shrimps, send the Stronghold. Then we can buy a Steel Axe and chop Willows and shit. We're already 13 cooking, so. <laughs> the boys... The fucking Iron Man! We march! Draenor's been taken over by woodcutters. Every world's full right now. Oh my god, yeah. Everything's maxed out. We should mine a copper ore here. A tin ore. Oh, he's in <laughs> run! Yeah, give me the money! I'm just gonna fu I'm gonna blow some cash on mine runes. I'll get like 500. I'm gonna save like 1k for steel axe and everything. It's 25 XP a pop. Alright, uh, there's level 8 attack. Thank God for Runelight. Oh my God. This museum's so nice. 
Give me the lamp. We'll get, or the XP. 10k XP. Come on, dude. Just give me one. Just give me one. Please. Oh, I got a copper. Okay, I'm done. I'm out of here. We should burn these runes as soon as possible because that'll give us some fast, fast points. Fuck these rats. Hmm, are there any sad rat? Images. Hmm. Sad trapped rat captures Zyka. Dude, we are we're like an army. The fucking squad, boys. <laughs> we, we fucked up, guys. Boys, we're flying. We're already halfway to our first tier. Smelt a bronze bar. Can we go straight to Fossil Island? Is that quest done? It is done. We can go straight to Fossil Island. Oh my god, look at all the bots here, dude. I love it. Dude, this is the best part about League. It's like packed everywhere in the, all these low-level places. Hey, here we go. 30 agility. Boom. All right, I'm done with agility. I'm just banking some willows. I'm going to keep track of them because I'll forget. Hey, 50 pointer. I got a new relic and I got another 50 points. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening? For your second relic, I give you the eternal jeweler. Wait, are, are you are you serious? Yes. I make the rules on this challenge. Bitch. All right, so I guess I, I have some teleport items here. They're unlimited as well. Come on! Thank God, let's not die here. Excuse me. <sighs> Holy shit, this sucks. Dude, I failed this 30 times. You know what? Fuck this place. I'm not saying for 10. <laughs> I paid him again! Fuck! <gasps> Yeah, I'm gonna kill- Oh god, the- Oh god, don't kill me. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill these, uh, this lesser demon real quick, and then hopefully if I get some money, be nice. I might just train here. How many points did I just get? I'm at 630 now. This is insane XP, by the way. Hey, combat level 25, another 10 points. Any other monsters that would be worth killing? Could he one hit? Oh god. I'm gonna die. My mouse is like glitching out. Yeah, I'm getting some weird lag on my mouse here, guys. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. It's just coming back, I don't know. We start doing PVM, it's just weird, man. Just give me the obby cape, best in slot, please. That's all I'm asking. Oh, he's getting fucked up! Oh, he's <laughs> Can I get an F in the chat for Husbu? He lived a short and meaningful life. I'm gonna pick up his bones, dude. I buried his bones. I'm running down so I can pick the, uh, I can do some bronze bars. Ah, uh, someone had the exact plan as me. They sold their oak longbows here and then they did the bronze bars and they're bought out now. So sad. Oh, we're not the only ones here. I see friendly competition. The resources on the account are 215 GP now. Huz already died, so I mean, <laughs> he got fucked up, man. There's just, doo, doo. <laughs> he got gunned down, bro. Yeah, I'm getting 500 XP drops <laughs> for a trout. <laughs> probably sell some of these and I'll probably cook them too. I might just wait to do combat if I can get to tier 3. How many points is it? Okay, so that's like 700. Oh, it's a lot. He's gonna die! He's gonna die! <laughs> this yes! Stop. Please! Oh, he's dead! Oh, and now... Okay, I'm out of here. Wait, how do I put my bananas in the crate? Oh, it's this one. Oh, I forgot my GP. Uh... Oh, well... I'm so dumb. I have two GP in my bank. <laughs> Fuck. I'm using this lady's house right next to Verak East Bank. It's, it's, there's no one in here. I'm just gonna make myself a hope. I gotta say, I've never used this raid. <gasps> Shift set! Let's go! Woo! I am fucking out of here, boys. See ya later. We, guys, we can't use the bank, by the way. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to just teleport to Karamja because it's really close to the uh, the range and then I'm going to sell my fish. As I mentioned before, I get to pick up to three new areas to unlock as I progress through the league. However, I don't get to pick just any area. Whoever made this game of bingo really did his research because all these items only come from three places. Mauritania, Kandarin, and Esgarnia. Because this is so planned out, I couldn't help but wonder who is actually behind all this. Perhaps I would find out eventually. Ah, uh, do I pick Mortania or Asgarnia first? Or Kandarin? After I pick this, it's, it's a lot of tasks to get to the next one. I feel like Mortania might be the play just to get gargoyles first. Dude, and sold Goblin Head? Sells for 20 coins. So I filled up the shop and now I can't sell my trout. <gasps> yes!
Oh, I just... Oh, I fucked up, guys. I just spam sold all of them. So I just sold, like, more than half of them for zero GP. Oh, it's 38k XP. I'm 40 attack. I've got it. I know what I'm picking. I've just remembered something. A super fast way to get money. I'm picking it. And I'm not looking back. After doing some research at this fishing spot, I learned that there's a quest that gets auto-completed when you unlock Kandarin. Monkey Madness. Which means I'll have access to a dragon scimitar right away. This is a fairly powerful mid-level weapon, so getting it early should speed things up quite a bit. But before that, I'll need to get 60 attack and 100k GP. I'll also be going for an Amulet of Strength as well, which has a massive plus 10 strength bonus. So once I get these two items, plus a few more tasks out of the way, then we should be good to go to start combat. I'm gonna thief some cakes. Holy shit, Kandarin. This is probably the easiest way to get points. Turn on the chalice. What's it gonna be? <laughs> oh my god! Come on, Fire Giant. I know you want to give me something good. <gasps> yes! Yes! Let's fucking go! Ah! I'm sorry. I, I got. I was. I couldn't contain myself. I got moss giants, but I don't think I can. I have no armor. Oh, I don't have level 30 herb lore. I have to keep this lamp in my inventory. Oh man, this takes me back, guys. This takes me back. 120 each. That's not terrible. There's no way I'm going all the way to 50 doing this though. So here's the plan. We'll string some bows. We'll have some money. We'll do master farmer and then we'll do construction. Oh, I attacked the farmer. I'm sorry, farmer. Ah! You're dead. Oh no, this guy just died. <laughs> he died to the night. Dude, I almost have a 10k cash stack just from the night. And I also have 5k in the bank, dude. I'm rich. Uh, what do I plant? Potatoes, onions, cabbages? Oh my. I can already plant Renars because of this boost. I'm 36 farming boosted. I haven't even done a farm run. Look at all these ham boys. Oh, I don't want a brown rug. Oh, that was the waste of 1.2k. I'm keeping that rug forever. We should just quit. We're too far behind the curve. Bada boom. Oh wait, it's over here. That was anticlimactic. So now I have all my amulet molds. Let's get all of these real quick. And then I can make a amulet of strength. Um, I just need cosmics. All right, cosmic runes right away. Come on, Mr. Frog. You know <gasps> cosmics! It's only two. It's only two. It's just what I need though. The amulet of strength. Then we got the rune scimitar. About to annihilate these moss giants. I actually don't have the level. That's disappointing. Let me go get that. I'm trying to get Herblore done because then I could use this antique lamp on Herblore once it's level 30. Fairly close to tier three already. Oh my gosh. Rainbows are classic. We're going rainbows. We're go Oh my God. Hey, what is this antique lamp for? Now I have two lamps I can't use. Great. Ba da da da. Hey. Oops. Still five. Is this worth doing? Wait a sec, I have 34 Hunter. What am I doing with my life? Why am I here? I think this is about to turn into how many lamps I can collect in my inventory at one time. Man, we're still going at 97 in the CC. That's incredible. Can we get the rune ax on the first try, guys? What do you think? Nature runes. I know, oh, mithril ax. <gasps> rune ax. I'm not a spoon. Look, look, guys, listen. I'm not a spoon. We're flying through this game. Easy. Rune axe, rune scimitar. I got the mithril and the rune with like five kills. And I was like, man, I might have to be here for a long time. But apparently not. 800 total level. Easy points. And I can keep doing some farming in between. Can I buy Eye of Newts? That is the question. How many guams do I have? 21. XP is gonna be insane. Okay, 200. That's good. Oh, it's not bad at all. We're climbing. That was 10 potions. Maybe we'll we will get to use the lamps. Let's see. Can I use this this one? It's level 30. Okay, so I actually have to have the skill. I can't boost for it. Hey, 4k herb lore. Let's use this one. 2k herb lore. We almost got 30 herb lore. Oh my gosh, these are packed. I think if I just get a full inventory. 30 herb lore. How much XP is this gonna give me? Let's just buy an, a massive amount of wines. That should do. Okay, this is definitely faster. This is definitely faster. For 20 points away. I'm gonna get the last relic tonight. There we go, 70 TV. Hey, hey, let's select it. The tier three relic is a very important choice. It grants a huge buff to one of the three combat styles. Magic, 
ranged, or melee. After looking at the gear that I can obtain from my areas, the melee perk is the most logical choice for me. This is because melee is really good against the Theater of Blood and the Nightmare, which are the two biggest grinds ahead of me by far. So that is what I'm picking for my tier 3 relic. Yes! Give me the Dragon Scimitar! Oh man, I mean the rune was cool, but... Finally, after a successful day one, it is time to unlock our second area, Mauritania. Mauritania contains some of the most interesting pieces of content in the game. But why should I choose this region next? After all, Asgarnia, my other option, grants me access to the Dragon Defender, one of the best offensive items you can get, as well as the God Wars Dungeon which contains 6 best in slot items and 2 of the best special attack weapons. Asgarnia also gives you access to the quest needed for Piety, the best offensive prayer for melee. Unfortunately, my account is still pretty far away from doing these pieces of content. I mean, just look at me, I'm still wearing a wooden shield. Mauritania, however, however, offers one of the best upgrades a low level can get, the Black Mask. This item provides a whopping 16% attack and strength boost. Compared to the Dragon Defender in Asgarnia, the Black Mask provides about 10% more damage per second. However, to get this boost you must be on a Slayer task, so it's not that great unless you're training Slayer. Now usually you don't get to choose your Slayer task, it's randomly assigned by an NPC. Imagine if you could pick the best monster to train on every time that would be incredibly overpowered. But this is the league, and there's a relic called Unnatural Selection. With this relic, I can choose any task I want. So my plan for day two is to get both of these. I am fairly close to getting my fourth relic. I'm only about 110 points away. So first things first, let's get some tasks done. Dude, we're actually all animals in green DI. The army has assembled. <laughs> Oh my god. Feels like we're on a journey. This is great. <laughs> no way! Can you dismiss it? Oh no, we killed the minecart! Oh, it's coming back! Oh, it's coming back! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've seen all day. Die! Oh, 14. Big. 10. Oh, the two ticks so strong. Dude, I'm not going to the north track. I have to go over there. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't think I survived this. I tick eight. I tick eight. I was two HP. Not a good idea to do all of us at once. So much shit hit me. No! Dude, this is not a good idea. This is a bad idea. I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm out. Okay, I'm, I'm bringing out the monks, dude. I'm, that was dangerous. Yes! I got it too. With the completion of the haunted mine quest, I can now unlock my fourth relic. Now that I have unnatural selection, all I'm missing is the Black Mask. The monster that drops it requires level 58 Slayer to kill. So we decided to try a quest that gives us Slayer XP. Oh! Oh, click. Oh, careful. Careful. I can't even search it. Run faster, Huzz! Wait, what is it? Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm lo Dude, I am in an unnamed area. I'm gonna have to consult the map, dude. I, I've, I'm, I'm completely lost. Okay, I'm going in this one. Of course. Of course. Just please let me go through. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, guys. Uh, I gave up. We'll come back later, but for now, let's train Slayer. Can I cook these tuna right here? <gasps> no way. There's a raw tuna spawn, and I can cook them on this fire. I'm risking it. I'm not risking it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, look at it go. I totally forgot. I don't have the level for the high alchemy spell. I don't know how I keep forgetting about magic, but we just need one more level. High alchemy has been obtained and now we are rich. Before I get back to ogres, I'm gonna go grab a spec weapon so I can test it out. One dragon dagger coming up. Oh my God, let's go. It just occurred to me that I have no protection prayers, so I've been doing moss giants for the past like hour or two. All right, here come the DDS specs. We want big ones this time. She's gonna die. 
Where's my drop? Oh yeah, my ring picks up the coins for me. After a few more Slayer tasks, I finally had the level for the Black Mask. <gasps> oh my god, I got it. I got the Black Mask. I got it on t 16 kills. Holy shit, that's insane. What do I do now? I was expecting to be here for like a few hours. To celebrate the early Black Mask, I decided to go to Barrows. Perhaps we would get lucky on a piece of tier 70 armor. Torag's got nothing on this green D hide. You see this? Ah, uh, the tunnel's gonna drain my prayer. Come on, just kill him. Just combo him. Anytime. Anytime. Any. Anytime. First barrel's chest, 100% potential. Let's go. Ah, oh, it's just runes. At the end of day two, my friends and I decided to take on the Theater of Blood. While there's no hope we could actually complete the whole thing at this combat level, there's a chest right after the second boss that has some high level potions in it. Problem is, if you die, it's 100k to get your stuff back. So we only have one shot at this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hope we're prepared for death. I'm risking my chaps for the DDS, it's the only way. <laughs> Little nodes, let's go. 75 combat. I'm actually kind of scared, guys. I've never been this scared for a maiden in my life. Oh, big hit. Blood. Oh, that's gonna drain your prayer. Dude, she put three around me. Oh, shit. We forgot about something. I can't even see him. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> I'm just going no prayer. I got nothing to lose at this point. Eat up, son. Oh, no. Dude, I'm tanking her. Well, it was a good run, uh, Mr. Green Dehyde Chaps. <laughs> We've tested the waters. <laughs> On the next day, I did so many Tazar Slayer tasks that I melted my footage. But we didn't leave empty handed. I obtained the Obsidian Shield, which has a plus 5 strength bonus. After that, I continued with Slayer all the way to level 85. This is the level needed for Abyssal Demons, which drop one of the coolest items in the game the Abyssal Whip. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, let's go! Woo! The gear so far is looking absolutely amazing. Look at this. We are stacked. We're going to gargoyles and we're going to use this whip. Ooh, hello, sir. I'm a green man. I love being a green man. Just give me some rune plate legs. That would be super. Or adamant plate legs. The green man lives on. Today's a great day. Now I'm shredding. 38. Rune plate body achieved. I need to save the Addy plate legs, but oh my gosh. Should we try Fossil Island Wyverds? Nice, test complete 75 points. Let's do the fight games. Yep, this is it. This this should work well. Go with eight sharks. Let's try not to die. I forgot how overpowered the, uh, the rapid heal thing is too. Eight HP every minute. Bada boom. Fire cape complete with the melee setup. Look at the upgrades on this account. My god. Come on, give me the rune boots. Everything else has been spooned. Just give me the rune boots. Make my day. Neck reels. I've already made over 100k. This is insane. Hey, the attack. 100 combat. Rune boots! Yes! The newest and improvedest upgrade. I butchered that. Um. Huzzah! Oh, I'm having fettuccine, baby. Some shrimp fettuccine. There we go. 50 construction. I'm gonna wait. <sighs> I need a break, so I, I'm scooping some sand. This will be used for crafting later on. All right, we need to go to a furnace. Let's wear my whip so I can flex on these people. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Oh, it worked. We're only 680 points away from the next relic. The botanist. The botanist relic means I can make a lot more potions for less. But there's also a hidden feature built into it that makes it very useful for bossing. You see, normally, when you sip a potion, your stats go up and then they decrease by one level every minute. But this relic prevents that from happening. So I drink one dose of super attack and super strength and my stats stay at their maximum. As long as I don't reset this boost manually. So let's get this thing unlocked. All right, that concludes day number three. Tomorrow, we finish Slayer. Okay, let's unlock the Slayer helmet for 400 points. Level 87 Slayer. We now have the level for the Kraken. Cave Kraken task acquired. This is like the fifth time I forgot that I still need to train magic. All right, 80 magic. Let's get out of here. Yeah, the Obby Caves were insane. I got like four <laughs> back to- <gasps> I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
27 KC. I have three times drop right now though, so it's it's not super spoon. I guess we're gonna have to grind magic, but let's go kill the boss, dude. I need to buy a lot of oh, death rune stuff. I was just talking about the charges too, that's funny. Man, if only I had something to attach my whips to. <gasps> Fuck this task, we're done. Where's my whip? Let's add this to the abyssal whip. And now we have an abyssal tentacle. There's 84, let's go, baby. There they are. Pick the flower. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm, this is fine. This is fine. Make these. And now we have the level, 87 magic. Dude, I look straight out of 2007 right now. There we go. One onyx has been purchased. Let's go cut this bad baby. Onyx bracelet. Let me just show you the difference. Mmm, look at that. Amazing. All right, just easy, couple more whips and we're golden, man. And we're ready for Tob. Hey, there we go. Look at that, it's so beautiful on the ground, my God. Oh my God, what? I, did, I wasn't even looking, I got another whip. Hey, what is that? What is that in my inventory? 70 ranged and no back-to-back -back heart. Wow, sad game, this game sucks. That's what we're looking for. Okay, my black D headset. Hey, the spoon strikes again. Come on, let's pull something big. Let's pull a rune pickaxe. I really need a rune pickaxe. Man, range sucks so bad. Hey, a 432 kill. Not bad. Is that a ranging potion? Boys, the dragon mud helm has been achieved. Look at that. Oh, keeping that. Rune pickaxe. I'm a fucking spoon. We got a unique, guys. Granite gloves! It's definitely worse than the regen bracelet, but that's funny. Hold up, let me set my quick prayer so I can at least... It's dangerous to flick, by the way. Are we ready? Oh, humble spawn. I got screwed on the blood there. Not bad. Holy shit, dude, it's so scary! Dude, we beat the theater of blood! Are brews actually worth it? I think prayer pots are probably the best. I mean... Maybe Mantis. If you guys just want to get whips, we can come back. I can get my Xenites going too. I just got five prayer pots. Look, I may not go outside much, but I know my survival. I'm ready for gorillas. I'm doing this whole task. I'm here mostly for the Alps as well. Ballista Spring. That's a dupe. Of course, dude. Of course, and it's a spirit seed. That's for a task. Oh my God. Wait, I buy this? Where the hell did I buy this? I need help. I'm lost, dude. I told you I need this ghost speed game. I feel like I was just here. And then I somehow I ended up in lumber. <laughs> when did that get there? <laughs> Cha-ching. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to slay. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold the phone. 90 and 92. Oh, that's way better. Okay, fuck the you. I don't trust these fools over here. I don't trust... Especially that man with the amulet of accuracy and the harpy bug swarm. <laughs> <laughs> the lantern. Oh, this brings me back. Oh yes, the tentacles just slapping. Stay on her. I'm doing. I'm doing big hits. The whips. I'm. I've switched to the whip. Stop being mage. Ah, there's nothing I can do. I was so close, bro. Nice. This game's easy, dude. You just have to play the game, you win. Oh my god, we're just shredding, boys. I'm actually hitting, dude. I think this is way better. The maces were doing fuck, fuck all. No to fail. Charge the pillar. The first nightmare kill of the boys is complete. Good luck. Hey, not bad. Oh, nice, I got a second one, dude. At this point, I decided to hunker down to complete as many tasks as possible so I can unlock my last relic. Look at this, dude. <laughs> sit the fuck down, tortoise. Oh, they, they attack me. Oh, sit down. <laughs> sit. <laughs> Look, they have a blue wizard robe on the ground. They're not even here for the task. Trying to get some loot here, my man. I need robe. <gasps> got it. So I sold my those items back. I still have 172k, which means I only need like 100k total for a freaking uh, Fury. I forgot to equip them for the task. So I had to buy them again and lose more money. Smoke devil task, boys, let's go. 
All right, I'm done. I got the occult necklace. One more task, boys. One more task. I'm gonna make my Zenite for the last task. I sold half my stock without the gloves. <laughs> Fuck, dude. My money. Oh my god. Dude, this has been the hardest fucking journey trying to get this damn onyx. I have 93k. That should be enough. 260k. Let's get the fuck out of here. I have to be a zombie monkey. Ugh, why would I have to be a zombie monkey to make the amulet? Oh, yes. Yes! Boom! Last area unlocked. Do -do -do -do. Wait, I thought this ring had stats if you don't abuse. I'm dumb. <laughs> I've waited long for this moment. Wow. Wait, Verzik's right behind that door? Dude, he has his legs are together <laughs> wait where, why'd you go in here this isn't the right way is it oh there's oh there's a trap door it fooled me oh this, this guy sucks i'm fucking him up with this perk buzzing gonna get me 70 prayer probably wait there's another one and there's another one with the completion of a taste of hope quest i had finally unlocked my last relic After six days, I had unlocked all relics in all areas, but my adventure was far from over. So if you'd like to see part two, then be sure to like the video. I'm actually kind of scared, guys. I've never been this scared for a maiden in my life. I've already been over 100k. This is insane. Hey, the attack. 100 combat. <laughs> After just a week, I unlocked all six relics in all three areas. Most people probably ended their journey here. That's because the skills that you obtain and the items that you collect on the league get deleted after 70 days. But because I took on this secret challenge, I still have a long road ahead of me. This is the Devil's Bingo. And if I collect every single item on this list, I get a reward. But if I miss any of these, that's 70 days of my life down the drain. Now, 63 days might seem like a lot of time left, but the reality is, all but one of these items depends on luck. That's right, you've probably guessed it already. The Inferno Cape. The Inferno Cape is, without a doubt, one of the most difficult items to get in RuneScape. I've gotten one in the main game already, but it took me a total of 49 attempts. And it wasn't easy, either. So, Ingus, why go for the cape now? Well, for one, I'll have to get this eventually to complete the challenge. But the main reason is that it is the best melee cape I can acquire on the league. Look at that. Plus four strength bonus over the fire cape. If I can get this item early, I can use it at nearly every boss on this list. This is pretty significant because I've estimated the time it will take to get all of these items. Before I show you this number, please grab a hold of something. If my estimates are correct, we are looking at upwards of 500 hours to complete all of these bosses. And don't forget, we only have 63 days remaining. Do you want to know how many hours that is per day? It's eight. It's eight full hours per day. Fuck. I could be, I could be doing anything else, but instead I'm going to be playing RuneScape for eight hours a day just to do the bosses. It's so ridiculous, like who plays this much for a temporary game mode? It makes no sense. I was ready to log out right there as soon as I finished the math, but then a little voice came into my head and I realized one thing. I could be the first person in history to complete a challenge such as this. After all, were it not fate, that this scroll came into my possession in the first place. So, as I stared down the colossal challenge that lay ahead of me, I devised a plan to get my Inferno Cape. 
Now in the main game, the general strategy for the Inferno is to use the blowpipe to get through all the waves, use the blood barrage spell to heal, then if you have a build to spare, you whip out your twisted bow to fight the boss. But because of my areas, I don't have access to any of those, which means we're gonna have to try an unconventional strategy. Since melee is so broken with all the relics, this is my best bet when it comes to completing all the waves. So my first objective before the Inferno is to upgrade my melee gear. But Ingus, how are you gonna heal? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because I chose Weapon Specialist for my Tier 6 Relic, we can take full advantage of an item called the Sarodome and God Sword, which can heal your prayer points and your HP. A full special attack bar gives us 5 specs, so the healing is pretty much taken care of. Lastly, we'll need a good weapon to hit the boss. You know, I would put the whip on long range, but it's just not far enough, man. To extend our reach without a Tebow, our best option is the Armadale Crossbow. After we've acquired all of these items, we'll be ready to take on the Inferno. All right, there are just a few things we need before we start hunting those items for the Inferno. First up is the Dragon Defender. <laughs> I'm just whacking this knight. And that is the Holy Grail completed. And now we have Piety unlocked. I think we're ready for the Theater of Blood now. Hold up guys, let me let me out some stuff so I have money for deaths. <laughs> just <laughs> real quick. I haven't even stepped a foot in God Wars yet. Maybe there's a chance. Oh, we still got hit by it. Piety activated. Go. Oh, let's grab. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> Getting the time is weird. And I love being at max stats all the time. <laughs> I gotta say. But... Nice, deathless. Ah, oh, no purple on the deathless raid. <gasps> Holy herbs. Woo. No to fail. The sacrifice. Any purple chests? No. <gasps> Whose is it? Nodes. You died. Dude. Why is it? Why does... Sorry. I don't know. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't. My whip's too fast. Good luck, Theater of Blood number four. Ah. Good luck. Oh, of course it's the Rangers. I'm salty, but good luck. Yeah, I'm salty. Fuck you guys. Fuck all you. <laughs> I'm gonna smoke. Defense level fucked me. Easy. Did the smite work? <gasps> Double molten glass. I have the I have the level now. I have uh, crafting bank for a torture. I just need to buy an onyx. A damn strength level, dude. Stop my stop my flow. Dude, I wonder if the mage perk would be good. Oh! Poor Huzzy. He stood no chance. We have five deaths. How? While my team and I decided to take a break, I headed over to the God Wars dungeon to get some dragon boots. There we go. Dragon boots. Cool. Cha-ching. Next, I headed to Cerberus to upgrade my dragon boots. If I was lucky enough to get a primordial crystal. This is nuts. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, nice. Turn a crystal. That's pretty useless for me, but I mean, it's it's juicy. It looks nice, right? Yeah, no, no problem. Two, two eternal crystals and six KC. I fucked up. Thank God for the melee perk. 95 defense. That's real bad. 73. That's my third eternal crystal. How'd I get hit by three? I should have tell you, but I like to just risk it. You never know, that might be the kill. Look, I got a restock on food. I planned it all out. I kept killing Cerberus. And on kill 75, I got the primordial crystal. Allowing us to make the best boots in the game. For melee. As many of you probably know by now, strength bonus is the most important thing when it comes to melee damage. For every four melee strength bonus you add, your max hit goes up by one. This is why I went for the primordials first. They're relatively easy to get, and this single upgrade gives us an extra three strength bonus. After the Cerberus task, I finished off 98 crafting, giving us the level to make the Amulet of Torture. Now the only items left were the Avernic Defender, which you get from the Theater of Blood, and the Bandos Armor. I decided to go for the Bandos items first. I would just like to remind you right now that I am, in fact, a jeweler. So instead of teleporting straight to the boss room, I had to walk there every time. Now from this screenshot, you could just make out that I got the Bandos chest plate on the 11th kill. And then on the 24th kill, I got Bandos tacits as well. Probably the easiest upgrades of this entire series right there. But we weren't done with Bandos just yet. Yes, we had the armor, but there's one more item we still needed. The Bandos God Sword. 
Now my luck at this boss is just ridiculous on the league because I got the hilt on the 73rd kill. I literally can't make this up. My luck there is so insane. At this point, I refused to let the hot streak end, even though it was getting late into the night. So I forged the Bandos Godsword and brought it to fight the Ceridome in general. Yes, yes, yes. We got it, ACB. Now we just need the hilt. Hey, another God Sword Shard. Ah, 100 KC for the Ceridoman Sword. And there's uh, another Ceridoman Sword. It's easy money though. Good elks. Yeah. At this point, I'm just, I'm just not gonna care because I, I have so many. Yes. Yes, we got it. Oh my God, we got it. Yes, Ceridoman Hill. Wait, actually, guys, we actually, uh, we just finished Sarah right now. We got every drop. I steal. And Anvil, the God Sword Blade, has been reforged. After obtaining the Bandos armor and the God Swords, there was just a single item remaining for the Inferno, the Avernic Defender. It's my purple! It's my first purple! Finally! <gasps> I'm opening it, I'm just going straight for it. Yes! That's good! Oh my god, finally! Boom! We got the, the Black Defender. Gray Defender. Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, I wanted the V-Trails. Damn it. What do we got? Anything juicy? Okay, a nice Alk. It's a 1.5 mil. So I've just been splashing on Kraken whenever I need to chill so I can eventually get 99 magic because I don't really want to train it. Someone's purple. It's Rat Juicer, isn't it? Whose is it? Yeah, it's Rat Juicer. Yep. Yep. We already knew. We already knew. Yeah, it's only his 10th purple today. Since I was spooning nearly every single item in the game, I thought, you know what? I may as well go try for the Necklace of Anguish. Hey, there we go. There we go, boys. We're done. I need two, actually. Maybe I'll stay here. I need two. I need, uh, I want a bracelet as well. Oh, nice. Another heavy frame. Sweet. Hey, a ranged level. We need those for tomorrow. 96 Slayer as well. Let's go. Cha-ching! In the flames. <gasps> yes, we're done! We're done! Yes! I don't have to kill these gorillas anymore. 281 for four Z-Knights. Let's go get our last Z-Knight, boys. I, good thing I have all this cash, too. With that last Z-Knight, I completed my first bingo tile. It felt great knowing that I was making some solid progress. So, we are uh, getting some range levels, and I think maybe 95 is where I want to start. I achieved 95 range. Now, there's one last thing I need to get before I take on the Inferno, and that is another whip, because I used up my Kraken Tentacle earlier. Oh my god, I just got a double whip drop, dude. What the heck? All right, this is the last Onyx we need to obtain for the Xenites. I might, like I said, I might end up getting another one for the blood fury but for now uh i'm good with an onyx yeah i'm good i'm really good with this but boom tormented bracelet so i'm gonna have some downtime so i'm actually going to elk my avernic for 1.5 mil cash real quick and uh i got a kraken task we're gonna go do one more level because i am currently 98 magic it's it's incredible for training magic it really is there we go 99 magic all right i'm gonna cancel this and then let's go for. It is our task because we need a second fire cape to enter the inferno. stretch before we do this. Come on. Go down. Hey, there we go. Okay. Chi Tank. You can just tank. Nope. It, I, I guess I clicked too far ahead. I should have... Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's okay. It only took an hour. Oh, I was going for the Zuck Tank task, guys. I was tricked by my own chat. Yeah, I can't believe it. Oh, well. We'll, we'll try again.
Oh my god. Pause him. I'm sorry, man. No, I'm no, calling, no. I'm Posture? calling rapier. It's gonna be a rapier. Pause chair. Oh, baby. Just give me that defender, dude. I'll be slick daddy, baby. Yeah! Oh, told... Let's go! Yes, Woo, dude. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a fast one. Is this it? I didn't. I forgot to time it. No, this is a shame. <laughs> I love how we're like, yeah, dude, it's gonna be, yeah, dude, that, that was so quick. It's the same time, exactly. Please. 306. Oh, do we're it. so can't. close. There's no way. You can't do it. Maybe? It honestly feels like a 306. It has to be. It has to be. There's Please. No way to... <gasps> oh, what? my God. Oh, I can't miss. Holy I can't miss. Fuck. Put that on. Put that on right now. Oh, wow. my God. The best thing in the fucking game. Dude. That's the best thing from this boss, dude. That's so sick. We could take a sec <laughs> if you just want to, like... Like, look at it. Ooh, nah, dude, he's going straight in. Oh my god. That was a moment. Jesus Christ, I'm scaring myself. Oh, we're good. We're good. What happened? Oh, I lost track. No. Oh my god. So annoying. I'm not gonna mess around with these special attacks. I feel like that really like messed me up. This one's not gonna be a fast one. I clicked. What? Oh, Vernick. Oh, Vernick. Yeah, Vernick humble Vernick. Oh, just the chest guard. Oh, that's good that's for the you. Inferno, dude. Oh, you keep getting the, the thingy. He's deathless, dude. That's yeah, our first deathless hey. trio. Let's go. <laughs> hey, got a big nutsack there. What? <laughs> Wait, dude, we did all we could, Verf. It's all yours, uh, buddy. This is fed. Go this on. is fed purple. Oh, come on. No, nothing. <laughs> I can never, like, I can never see if there's a purple or not. It's, dude, I got a oh. squid, man. It's pretty far away. <laughs> that was very that was good. really good. Fast. Come on, give it a purple for Mr. Burr. Come Burf. on. <gasps> Someone's purple. Oh, it's not mine. mine. First, yes. let's go. Nice. I, got, I got one. Good yes. luck, good luck, good luck. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking staff. I'm thinking I'm side. Back, baby. I mean, any, anything is good, so let's just, just get it. Hey! Oh I knew it. He called it. Oh my god, I got it again. Verf back to back. Let's go. Oh, oh my god, guys. I'm going to call side, dude. Yeah. I'm going to keep calling until it happens. It's going to be a, it's going to be a hilt. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Told you. D there nice. we go. Well, that's a very, very that good. Put it on. Well. Put it on. Use that on the thingy. There we go. Boom. No, there's no way. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's this? No is trails? No, I no, got it again, perfect. dude. Oh, <laughs> what the heck, bro? <laughs> I'm gonna keep okay, calling a sight until someone gets a sight. You know, three for three. I'm also gonna call the item. I'm going to get a Justy Helm. Justy Helm. All right, let's see. It. Justy, Justy Helm. Helm. Call this, bro. Ah. Ah. Oh, it's mine! Oh. Yes! 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 Wait, who got yes. it? The rapier was a huge upgrade, and it was also an item on the bingo sheet. A huge upgrade for the Inferno waves, because I don't have to get any more whips, but it wouldn't solve all my problems. There's a bit of RNG involved when it comes to using a crossbow at Zuck. A lot of your damage comes from enchanted ruby bolts because there's a 6% chance of this special effect activating that deals damage based on the enemy's total amount of HP. So for Zuck, there's a chance to hit 100 damage in a single shot. Now there is one way to increase the odds of this effect occurring, and that's by completing completing the Kandarin Hard Diary. Doing this bumps the Ruby Bolt spec up to 6.6% .6 chance, which might not seem like a lot, but I needed something. My motivation was starting to dwindle. And boom. Let's use these on rune crafting, I suppose. The less rune crafting I have to do, the better. All right, perfect. Now we wait for the set. Shield's kind of low health though, so I will need to absolutely just juice. Okay, don't misclick. You got this, you got this. Here comes the healers. Tank. Yeah, we kind of, we took two Zuck hits. That was not bad. I should have zoomed in more, I think. Cha-ching, we're done. I'm just kidding, we have Zuck. There's another one. I'm gonna brew up here. There won't be another set spawn with Jad, right? Is that it? That's it. Holy mother of God. I stepped in front of the shield. I'm, I'm okay. We need to kill this thing fast. Come on, do some damage here. Big damage. One more. Is that it? Not humble, but it's okay. We, we survived. We survived. Let's brew up here. Kill this and get the fuck out of here.
fucking shredded. Too far. That one's dead. Send her home. Oh shit. Oh, we're fucked, boys. <laughs> we're fucked. We're actually fucked, guys. Lost the shield. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize it was coming up. Ah, at least we got past healers. Progress is progress, I suppose. Okay, so the tactic this time, juice the ranger with the MSB spec. Don't ask me why I didn't think of this before. I think I can reach from here, can I? We'll try it. Holy. Nice ruby spec. Let's get another one in here. Oh, nice, another ruby. The damage is incredible. All right, that might be it. Guess I'll just kill this guy. This might be the second set here. Come on, Ingus tank. Nice below. This might be it. That's it right there. There's Jad. All right, now we have to wait for the next set and then we send healers. Come on, MSB, you can do it for me, please. I didn't tag the right one. I didn't tag the right one, guys. It was too late. I had failed my first five attempts, but that last attempt was just too much. The Inferno is easy, man. I've done it before. Probably get it on one of my first tries. I felt Easy. discouraged, failing at something I knew I had the capacity to do. But how many more attempts would this really take? Because if I couldn't get this cape soon, then there's no way I would be finishing the Devil's Bingo. I decided to put my Inferno dream on hold until I could come back stronger. Yo, I got the Bandos boots. Yes, dude. Yes. There we go. Full Bandos, 500 points. Let's go, uh, let's go do some grotesque guardians. Oh my God, the granite hammer. Holy, look at that. That is sick. I've never actually equipped this weapon ever in the game. First of the day. I haven't seen a purple for a while. Here well, we I go. Roll my second MVP let's tonight. Oh, any purples? You want to challenge me? <laughs> What's that? What do you say? How many quotable deaths are we gonna have? The 60 kill so count, good. dude. That's a sign. Sign of the times right there. Yes, dude, it worked. Sweet. No oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, face guard. Good. My first justy piece. Cha ching. I'm gonna trade screen and not look. We got a nightmare stab, boys. First unique. First solo of the day. We get a, a unique. That's so big, man. Trade screen, look the other way. What do you think it is, boys? I see the red dot. Seven sand view serums, nice. Uh-oh, what's that? What's that? Uh-oh, I've teleported. Holy mother of God. I've never killed Sire in my life and that is an instant knockout, that's so sick. It's a blind Sire playthrough right here. We got it. Yes, it's very late. I got it, dude. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. God! No fucking way. Holy shit. That's a uh, number seven, by the way. And I have 389 Mythal Dragons killed. I've never even owned one of these. Well, um, I guess I'm gonna go cancel my task. Well, the bank is really starting to pick up now. Look at that. Huge XP drop for the Elite Karamja Diary. That's another, what? That's 350 points right there. Let's dump this into room crafting. Cha-ching, 800k XP. Tell me about this hole. All right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, lady. All right, now we're on P3. What the fuck is P3? Uh, let's hope it's my tank. I'll be honest, I'm out of food, so I don't have anything to tank this, so... Oh, I tried, dude. It hit and maxed on me, though. 
The In oh. Ingus is the best ah. solo TO beer ever. This is the run, dudes. Yep, just Not stay even alive. Fucking close. Avra, you can actually hit those if you want. Oh no, he's down. The crab got him. Fuck. Come on, BGS. Do some work here. Dude, big hit. Yes! Time, bro. Wait, yeah. Yes! Woo! Avra fucking teleporting in at the last moment. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. Dude, <laughs> this is your first theater of blood chest ever, right? For both Hell of you? Hell yeah, dude. All right, give me my fucking Tebow. No purple. <laughs> The boots paid for themselves, absolutely. No, no purple. purple. We didn't deserve but, it. Hey, hey guys. Easy. Oh, that was uh, Easy. But it is my VIP, baby. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome, man. Excellent performance. Woo! Piece of cake. Not even close. Hey, I still have MVP, even though I fucking planked. Woot. Let's go, boys. Any luck on the duo the first duo tob ever? No luck. Oh, oh my god, oh my. Holy shit. How many points is this to equip? Well, I suppose that is a granite longsword. Is this a task? It's not. It's just pointless. Just have a big... Big knife chop. That is a uh, 25 million Slayer experience achieved. So that's gonna be our one of our last combat ones, um, at least for now. So we are just over uh, a thousand KC on these wyverns, and uh, yeah, so far no visage. Okay, so that should give us enough. I've done so many tasks. 1350 wyverns killed. Let's buy our herb sack, and that should make these slightly better. And we'll need this for herbivore a little bit later as well. Bro. <laughs> Dude, look at the fuck. Look at me fucking <laughs> talking to you. Stress, dude. <gasps> Someone's purple. Oh. Night Raid? Fuck yes. Whoa, dude. baby. Fuck let's yes. go, dude. Holy shit. Open it up, baby. Yeah. Oh, dude, shit. that's the fucking best one you could have pulled. So good. Oh, oh my god. Dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my fucking dude. god, Nine Raid. You fucking Hell spoon, yeah. dude. You're such a spoon, dude. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. Yes. I get to Chambers of Zarek on main game, I'm not gonna get a damn thing. All right, let's see what it is, baby. Give me that sight. <gasps> oh, oh my god! Oh my god, take sight. What the fuck, bro? Oh, quit that we shit. Oh my god! Something over there? Nope. <laughs> Switching to ranged. Ah, he's on, he's on point with his prayer switches. He's got that full armadillo like a thick, thick gamer girl. Fuck yeah. What a shocker. I uh, I, I shocker. gotta say, I, this this match has been going on for quite a while. And, and he goes for the SGS, it? dude. It's there lower it goes, DPS, child. but oh that is God. amazing. I need you to scream as you sprint across. Ah! Oh, that... Wait, you didn't take like any damage. Yeah, that was fucking pathetic, dude. Dude, you're awesome. Poke him, poke him, poke him. Oh <gasps> my, <gasps> I took ate it. No, but. I... <laughs> and there is 2000 total level, 90 prayer, and we're still here. I don't know what to say, man. It's gonna, it's gotta happen. It's gotta happen at some point, right? It was finally time for me to go to Armadale because this is the best range armor in the game. So it would help my Inferno grind quite a bit. Yes, yes. I have to take a moment, take a nice look at that. Oh man, that's that's beautiful. I'm fine with that. It's not the armor, but that's another god sword, dude. I've been waiting for the AGS, boys. Oh my god. Oh no way. Two hilts. Oh come on, man. Just give me the. Ah. Uh... Oh my god. It's actually incredibly lucky. Well, I have to make a ton of diamond bolts because that is the only way I'm gonna be able to do this boss. Holy. I'm so excited. Yeah, bro. Do you have an Avernic? I do. <laughs> well, you have another one. Oh, it's another purple. <gasps> it's mine! Hell yeah. <laughs> Is that five in a row? That was five, right? Five in a row, yeah. baby. If I didn't die, it could have been me. <gasps> just guard that's new. Yes. Is that? Is that yeah, it's good? Yeah, it makes the Inferno uh, easy. How do we just get six purples in a row? The SGS corrects all. No, he's just holding out on us. Fucking blue ball. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> oh fuck. Bro, it's mistakes over. were made. Bro. <laughs> it's over. No, 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 no. Oh, no. SGS, please. No, dude. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Double web. We fucked yeah, up, boys. Bro! Oh my god. Bro. Do it. Yeah. No! 
The web killed me. It's still the the back five back. Shit. Still the back five back. Yeah, we didn't we didn't break the streak, guys. I knew to be fair, it was, it was a tactical move. Back to back to back to back to back to back. I'm feeling it. Is that a purple? That is. Oh my god. <laughs> is it yours? <laughs> Trails, is it yours? Yeah, it's mine, it's mine. Dude! Yes, that's big! Wow, yes, dude. That's huge, the upgrade! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Yeah, that's not even close. The defense on this is huge. And uh, we're still going dry on the armor, and that is 200 kills. We're here until we get the chest plate. And that's not gonna change. Making diamond bolts. Again. I hate armor. No, <laughs> no, it's my third helm, dude. I hate my life. I have like five on the main game as well, dude. Oh, I hate my life. <gasps> oh, God, so sure too. Actually, uh, I think I need this one. Actually, I lied. We needed a God, so sure three. All right, well, that's um, that's 300 kills. So, God, kill count, 300 kill count, baby. <sighs> Oh, no, dude. No. Oh, no. Is that number six? That's number six. You're joking. God damn it. That one hurts. I already have one in my inventory. That is just... That's just disrespectful. <gasps> it's done! It's done. Yes, it's done. Oh my god, we're done, dude. Boom. I need a, a helmet. Full Armadale has been achieved for 500 points. It's actually over. I was actually beginning to go crazy. And dude, I have 36 diamond bolts left, man. I would have had to make more. That was deathless. Good job, guys. Oh. 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 Ah, oh, it's a dupe. I took a trip to Zami because, uh, why not? I still need some items from him. Five kills in and I get it. I actually have both of these. So Staff of Light in my bank. <gasps> yes, unsired. My first one ever. This is sick. Honestly, I just want a bludgeon piece. It's really all I want. <sighs> first bludgeon piece, we'll take it. That's good. It's not something depressing, so. All right. <sighs> Here we go. Something good. I don't want to look. I'm not looking. Damn it. Oh my god. Okay. If it's a third dagger, then I may just like never come back to Sire. Not looking. It's not a bludgeon, but it's a jar. Look, it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't have a jar yet. All right. Zuck time. Silence. Pure silence. I ran too fast. Oh, I don't want to play this game anymore. Oh, I had that in the bag. Oh my god. I'm so disappointed. Surely I can hit it from here though. Okay, that's dead. I fucked up. Fucked up. This run's lost, man. So sad. Yeah. I was out of food. No! Stupid mistakes. Intelligent mistakes only. If the ranger decides that we are not allowed to live, then we're fine. We'll run it back, I guess. But I'm not stepping out in front of the shield this time. ACB, I need you. I need you, ACB! Please, ACB, come on. You can do it. My shield has no health. There's another set. Come on, ACB! Come on, ACB! Please! Everything was so clean about that Zuck run, besides for that one take. And we just got cucked on the ACB, dude. I'm so mad. Oh, well, okay, I'm not mad, I'm just defeated. Yeah, we fucked up, man. We fucked up. There's literally one more upgrade we can get. And that is the Amethyst Arrows. They give you one more max hit over the Rune Arrows, so it's a rest shot. Come uh, on, Master Scroll Book. A dragon full helm ornament kit? I actually have a dragon full helm. Oh, hell yeah. That's sick, man. Oh my god, that's a flex. Nope. Nope. 
to watch for this next set. I'm, I'm freaking out here. Just need to stay focused. Come on, I got this. That's it. That's it. Woo! Let's go. Yes. Yes. Oh, this feels as good as my first cape. First ACB cape ever. Holy shit, man. Let's put that bad boy on. Woo! Man! Oh my god. I was so nervous, dude. I tanked the Zuck hit. With the Inferno Cape acquired, I now had 8 of the 25 tiles on the Devil's Bingo completed. Unfortunately, we were nearly at the halfway mark, with only 37 days of the League remaining. We still haven't even touched the Nightmare Grind, and for the Theater of Blood, we're only about halfway through. Not to mention all the other tiles we still have left. So while I relished in my victory that day, in the back of my mind, I knew I'd need a serious miracle to pull this off. Last October, I entered the RuneScape League with a top secret mission. This mission required me to spend the next 70 days hunting rare RuneScape items. If I fail to complete just one tile, I lose the entire challenge and all my time is wasted. Last episode, we acquired our eighth tile, the Inferno Cave. That's it! Woo! Let's go! Dude, I tanked the Zuck hit, but still, 17 tiles remain. And all of these depend on luck, except for one the Max Cape, a cape that is only obtainable by reaching level 99 in every skill. Normally, this cape takes hundreds of hours to acquire, but since the League has accelerated experience rates, the Max Cape is achievable in a much shorter time period. However, that doesn't mean it's an easy thing to get. Since there's no trading on the League, all resources must be collected by me if I want to trade my skills. Also, you guys know me. I'm not a skiller. This is how I got the Max Cape in 44 days on the League. Enjoy. The moment I've been waiting for a, a solid week for. I gotta stretch the hands for this, man. I'm nervous. If I fuck up, man, that's not gonna be good. I'll be pretty mad. We have 167 quest points. This has to be the 100. There's no possible way that it isn't. Go, go, go. Oh shit, I missed some ticks there. Oh, the gods. The gods. Hey, gaming. We got it, boys. We got it. I was worried. Oh yes, no more fairy ring. Let's use this on rune crafting. Then uh, let's do a little bit more rune crafting here. And now 94 rune crafting without trading the skill. That is number seven. Maybe this infernal cape will bring us some luck. Let's hope. Trust. Spine, spine, spine. That's my second head from the sire. And I have a third one in my bank from regular ones, bro. I have three in heads, three daggers, one jar, two heads. Only at Armadale and Sire would I go dry like this. Now, by this point, I was starting to get a little burnt out on bossing in general, especially after the sire grind. I didn't record too much of this because I've just been chopping these mushrooms and now I have 99 woodcutting. Also, take a look at all the fossils I've collected so far from wyverns and woodcutting. It's quite a lot. We're going to use these on prayer a bit later. All right. <laughs> I figured out how to work this thing. Let's go use these. Wow. 8,000 for a small one? What do the big ones give me? All right. These are the best ones. These are the highest tier. 40,000 experience each. Let's fucking go, boys. Using the rest of my fossils, I got 96 prayer. The best way for me to get 99 is to bank these bones from wyverns. So I'll be doing a little bit of that here and there as I hunt for the visage. Look at how much ore I have banked. Jesus Christ. This is all from bossing. I have yet to mine a single ore. After using the rest of my coal, I ended up with this many bars. It's more efficient to make lower tier bars with your coal, but I opted for Adamant and Runite because I'll be needing a ton of money for fletching. I banked all of these supplies for herb lore just from the Theater of Blood, so this 99 took barely any time at all yes my my spirit tree it's done man it's done how much is it gonna give me 300k oh we're getting awfully close to 99 just from one run i think i gained almost two mil okay i have a bunch of stuff to elk we should get a lot of money i haven't calculated it out but it should be a lot i prematurely hit the 250 
tasks. I thought it was at a single course, but it's actually um, it's at any rooftop course. Now I'm here and there is 25 mil magic XP. We are done with the combat. Of course, we still have prayer, but everything else has been maxed out over the 25 mil threshold. I don't know if this will be the task here. Yep, it was the task. 200k. That's less than I expected. Another 200k, 80k. Wait, so it's only like 500k XP an hour. So 660k an hour. That's pretty bad. Already was like 80k and Sepulchre is going to be more than that too. So since you can't elk on the monkey land course, uh, I'm going to have to elk here because I'm not doing any other agility tasks besides the uh, monkey land. So I'm going to be elking while we do herbivore. And then once I go through all these elks, this is, I check my bank. This is pretty much all of it besides like my unique item dupes. Uh, I'm, not, I'm actually not going to go into the unique item dupes unless I like absolutely positively need to use them. That way I can save them and drop them at the end. Yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing till 99 Hunter. I'll see you in a bit. Herbivore number 304 for 99 Hunter. So because I have to do the Apatol course, there's not a lot of chances to do these arrowheads, but I guess I'll just finish these out. There's not really anything else I could think of besides maybe clue scrolls. And there is 98 Fletching giving us a total level of 2200 and we're one level from 99 and Hunter XP is at 16 mil and I'm currently 382 harvest count so just a little bit over 120 okay that's gonna be number 402 herby boars i've moved on to broad bolts i also have uh, i'm pretty close to 99 fletching but we'll, we're gonna keep going yep we're here until 500 less than 100 left so i've done some calculations in order to get 25 mil fletching i'm gonna need to do 240,000 broad bolts it was nice having this cash deck but i think it's gonna be gone after this 250,000 broad bolts this should be enough for 25 mil fletching. All right, and that is 250,000 feathers bought. Time to use these up and get 500 herbivores and then we are uh, out of here. Moving on to agility. Oh my Lord, I forgot I was so close. <laughs> Oh, there's 99 fletch. I totally forgot about that. That's funny. And I've been at this for like nearly six hours. Look at that. Almost a six hour log. I feel like a nerd. I've just been binging shows while I do this though. So, you know, no problem there. Oh, we're almost done. 12 more to go. And here we go. The last herbivore of 500. Oh, I've never been so happy to get this. Uh, I'm not much of a hunter myself. We're not quite finished with hunter. I still need about 4 mil XP. I'm going to use the rest of these fossils here. And we're going to get some prayer levels. To get 99 prayer, I'm just going to make a limestone altar. This is actually the best altar I can make. There we go, 98 prayer, and we just got a task for getting 126 combat. That's sick. One more level to go. We are here at the Apatol course. I'm going to be doing quite a few laps here. And in the meantime, of course, I'll be fletching. I needed a break, so I went to AFK some crafting. And here we go, 99 crafting. I only have seven skills left for 99, well, max game. Duh. I don't skill. Didn't even notice, but I got 100 laps. So let's go ahead and transform our little monkey and that is 50 points okay so in order to get 99 fire making i need to get a lot of u logs and the best way i'm going to do that is by killing this mole there he is get him <laughs> oh my god that was fast <gasps> i got the baby mole pet I got the baby mole pet, dude. Yes. That's so sick and it counts as a bossing pet, man. Holy. You know, I was actually debating on not even killing this boss. Oh my God, we got the mole pet. Look at him, man. He did, he did a little mole. There's 97 fire making. Been going strong. Only 254 willow logs left. I'm not sure if I want to use some of my teak logs. I'll have to woodcut some more either way. I might just use them. And there is 400 laps. Ugh. About 100k arrows left to Fletch. That's not bad. Chilling out listening to some books. So we'll, we'll get through this. Uh, a few hours later. Well, several hours later. And there's 500 laps. And I can transform my little dude. Oh, there's a little, a little robot little robot monkey. I think I'm done with the Apatol agility course. Now I've done Hallowed Sepulchre like once, I think. I don't know how to really do this uh, content since it came out, but I'm gonna give it a go. All right, so we've made it to the next floor, floor number two. Oh my God. Wait, how? Oh, I don't know if I can make it. Yes. Oh, I think this is where I used the uh, vampire 
left us there. All right, timer's pause. Now we're on to the third floor. I know there's stuff to loot in here, but I'm not exactly sure where it is. Come on. Yes. It's like the Matrix here. I don't know if I'm going to make that. <sighs> Almost. Yeah, I was too slow on that too. I walked straight into that. Oh, it's so hard. I was late. I was, I was late by one tick. How did I even get hit by that? I'm late. I'm tick perfect. Okay. We missed our timer. I guess our timer didn't work. Got past floor three. No. And there's 99 prayer. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen, but I really wanted to loot this floor four as well. Uh, and we're out of time, but we made it to the fifth floor. I think this is our best run so far. We'll, we'll keep trying. Yes, I made it. <sighs> Yeah. Finally, dude. I've been here. I feel, I feel like I've been on this obstacle right here for like 30 minutes. That's fun though. 93k. Wow. And that's a 250 point task right there as well. Okay. I think I can do that. It'll take some practice, but it's doable. All right. There's another completion. It didn't take me near as long as the first time. So. Ah, I'm still having trouble with this last obstacle right here. It's pretty tough. I think I'm just going to keep skipping the chest and get loads of XP. Three minutes on the bottom floor. Usually I have what, one minute, so let's uh, let's try our best here. No! No, damn it. We're rushing too much here. We need to focus. Focus. Plenty of time. Of course. Of course. I L moved and it fucked it up. There we go. I fucked up. We got one minute left. It's still possible. Ah, so close, man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not gonna happen. Dang it. You know, after that last course, I was thinking to myself, you know what? What would make me better at agility? So I decided to go mine some rocks. Okay, so I've tried pretty much every mining method and I'm getting better rates just by banking the iron ore here in the mining guild. I might just try dropping it. I'm kind of low on ores as well for smithing, so it might be worth banking it. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna test it out. There we go, 97 mining. God, God, God. Yes? Oh wait, that's me. Make sure you like the video. Been here for like a couple hours now and it is just very boring. Two levels away. We just gotta finish this. We'll go back to agility. I think that's all we can get done today. After that, we have two skills left. All right, I got this clue geode. Nothing new, just some runa. There is 98. <sighs> One more and we're out of the rock prison. Here's the last one. There it is. 99 mining. We're done with mining. Oh, I'm so glad it's over. Let's uh, let's move on. Let's finish up agility. Yes, finally. Yes, I could have gone for the other one too. Holy shit, I finally made it. The last chest. Let's go. The first grand coffin. No ring, but oh man, that feels good. Do we get a challenge for this? We don't, but I got a PB for the overall. Hell yeah. Hey, and there's 98 agility. All right, I've gained enough marks to buy a hallowed sepulcher item. That's gonna be a 100 points. Bad run. If I didn't miss some stuff in the beginning, <laughs> Just being an idiot, I could have made that chest easy, easy. I think that's gonna be 99 agility. We just need smithing, rune crafting, and construction, and we are done with the max grind. The reason I'm getting U logs is because I need to use the hot air balloon transport. That's actually my best way to get the sawmill planks so we can do construction. I don't have the master scroll book. If I had that, I would have unlimited teleports and there's a teleport directly to the sawmill. Ooh, wait a sec. Um, I just got 99 fire making. Oh fuck, I forgot. I didn't realize this gave me XP. Oh no, I was gonna save that for 99, but I guess now we've, we've messed it up. This is gonna be my life for the next, uh, Probably, uh, I, I honestly don't know how long it's gonna take to make all of these logs into planks. I'm not looking forward to it. Looks like I'm gonna be making about 2,000 planks an hour. I currently have 1,200 mahoganies to make and 6,400 teaks. I'm not sure if I'll need any more, but I have some uh, some oak logs banked somewhere. Yeah, right here. I haven't run any calculations, but we're just gonna we're just gonna cross our fingers here. <laughs> all right, this should be 
the last load of planks that we need 5291 as well as 1774 mahogany planks let's go uh, hire a butler and start doing construction we're gonna blow through these uh, mahogany planks and then after that we'll move on to the teaks right now we are 79 construction so we're gonna get a lot of milestones as well i want to test how much construction xp i get with these mahogany tables i'm guessing it's gonna be quite a bit so i'm not even really doing this that efficiently 13 mil xp an hour if i had enough of these we could get 99 within one hour that's um that's ridiculous there is 90 construction and base 90 stats it's literally been like 20 minutes yeah i don't know why i'm even bothering with an update here and now we make teak garden benches for a whopping 8k all right there we go 99 construction finally i say finally but really i, I did 99 construction in a day so didn't take that long. All we have left is rune crafting and some smithing levels and we're done. Supposedly, earth runes are the fastest method using the dig site amulet. And there's 95 rune crafting, only four levels to go. Uh, it's a little bit over four mil XP, 4.2. I'm glad I put most of my XP into rune crafting, honestly. This is, this is definitely gonna be the worst skill by far. So I thought to actually test out the ZMI. I can't believe I forgot about this place, but this is actually slightly faster than earth runes. Finally, 99 rune crafting, the most uh, annoying thing on this account, probably. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. I'm so happy to be done with this skill. We have one skill left. It is smithing. We're gonna get those ores from PVMing because I can't be asked to mine them. I have 20,000 blood runes for whenever we get a Sang Staff slash a Scythe. Of course, I can buy some from the Wizards Guild, but that'll just be super nice just to have a uh, stockpile. That's 7,000 charges. So I'm gonna need a lot of coal. The Abyssal Sire has a pretty decent drop rate for coal. And luckily for us, one of our bingo tiles is the Abyssal Bludgeon. This item works a little bit differently compared to other bosses. First, you must get an Unsired, which is a one in 33 drop on the league. When you use this on the pool, you then have a 1 in 2 chance of getting a bludgeon piece. Get all 3 pieces, and you have yourself an abyssal bludgeon. Now, I've already gotten 7 unsired in the league so far, and I only have 1 bludgeon piece. Surely, it shouldn't take us that much longer, right? Alright, number 8. Will this be the next bludgeon piece, or will it be a dagger? It'll most likely be a dagger, and I'll just have to keep killing the sire. <sighs> I may as well not even get excited. It's a whip. Yep, yep, yep. It's okay. I already have 15 of them. It's perfectly fine. Yes! Another one. <laughs> Another shot at destiny. Number nine. Unsired. It's... <sighs> I should have, like, four bludgeon pieces by now, but I actually have four daggers instead and there is the 250 task yippee yeah it's just 250 sire kills and we're still here all right i'm taking a break from sire just because i'm just a little depressed but <laughs> we are currently using up the coal that we got we got about like a, a thousand or so i just remembered i have some points saved up uh over at petrified pete and i'm not sure if i'm gonna go for this portal soil spell i think it's only like 100 points league wise and maybe it's a mistake to do this but 200 coal right there we're gonna go to gargoyles it's actually the best place to get coal uh i think besides like tob maybe i swear to god every time i do this boss i always get a granite ring it it never fails but shortly after i was invited to take part in a special challenge for this challenge i would need to stack up a bunch of clue scrolls which is good because i still needed the master scroll book now the best way to get clue scrolls in the league is to farm superior slayer monsters now a lot of people hate on the jeweler perk but i gotta say it was very helpful for farming these i only need uh five elite clues so i'm actually i'm actually gonna open one of these oh my god the master clue i thought ugh, i was bamboozled by the master clue i said master scroll book when i opened that i have in my inventory or oh, another elite casket is that real there's no way that's a real clue okay we have achieved our caskets for tomorrow i'm really excited well for now let's get back to our normal grinds nice 400 coal you love to see it. Yeah, okay, whatever, however much coal we get from this, this is uh, why we're doing this boss for smithing. Number 300, hip hip hooray. Yeah, we're over drop rate a little bit on the unsired, so not really ex expecting anything for a little while. Well, my hopes are non-existent. <sighs> Visualize it. 
just got to visualize it at 3 a.m. I'm closing my eyes and visualizing it. Spine in my inventory. Fuck. This is, this is worse than Armadale by far. At this point, it was extremely late and I was dead inside. But I pulled another Unsired right before the system update. <gasps> Bludgeon. Bludgeon piece, finally. Finally, dude. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy about that. One more piece to go. The next day, it was time for the clue scroll challenge, which I mentioned earlier. Now, Trails already made a video on this, so if you'd like to watch the challenge, go check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Good luck, Come boys. <laughs> there it is. Spin for the win. Damn. Yes. I don't know if we'll pray right now. Back in this guy. Or girl. It's, it's still above 70 from before. I'm not going to say anything, but she healed like 23%. Yeah. And sadly, even though I opened a bunch of caskets, I did not get the Master Scroll book. For now, it was time to get back to the Sire. Number 400. Yes. Yes, finally. Another chance to leave the prison. Oh my god, that's it. We're done. We're done. Oh my god. It finally happened. I, I just can't believe this. After a painful 30 hours at this boss without agents, I now had the second best crush weapon in the game. Not to mention some extra coal for Smithy. Alright guys, this is it. This is the final total level that we need to max on the league. Alright, no more iron play bodies. I'm so done with these, man. Let's go get our max cape. And just like that, I completed the max cape on the 44th day of the league, marking off my 10th bingo tile. And after all that skilling, it was finally time to get back to bossing. I was 45 days in, and this is what it looked like. Desolate and cold. The feeling of isolation gripped at my soul. You see, I had played with fate. I rolled the dice. But this adventure that I was so eager to set out on had led me back to the place I dreaded the most. Last episode, I achieved 99 in every skill, giving us the Max Cape, our 10th item on the Devil's Bingo. I still have 15 items left on this list, and 7 of these are the Nightmare items. The Nightmare items are still the rarest items in the game. To put in perspective how rare these items are, I have a 3 times drop rate multiplier and kills take 10 to 12 minutes with all 6 relics. After running some probability simulations, the average time this grind will take is 239 hours.
but it's so much worse than that. In one of my previous videos, I camped this boss for 51 days straight. I made a ton of money from selling the drops, but it was not easy. As I have mentioned before, the boss is incredibly mind-numbing, and the only thing that made the boredom manageable was having my friends there along with me. But this challenge is different. The best odds of getting a drop in my name is through solos. I can't invite my friends on this one. I'll have to be alone. I'll need a safeguard against burnout, because that will most definitely happen if I sit here for the next three weeks. I'll be splitting up my time between the Nightmare and the other tiles. If my estimates are correct, I'm looking at another 200 to 300 hours on top of the 240 hours for the Nightmare. Take this estimate with the time that we have left puts our chances of completing the Devil's Bingo next to zero. And now that I'm 45 days deep, I can only hope for a miracle. Any luck? Oh, no luck. Ah, uh, lucky. Okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, never lucky. That was deathless too, wasn't it? I had two breeze left, and I didn't have my blood fury, so next one should be cleaner. Well, at least we know it's a 50-50 chance if we do get a purple, you know? <laughs> yeah, 31%. Oh! <gasps> Yay! Something. Woo! <laughs> it's oh, an no, Avernic. I already know. I'm not gonna get excited. It's an Avernic, man. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. <laughs> Get in. Is that your first oh, one? Oh, yes, it's my first sight. Oh, ever. That is awesome. Ever, not even on the main game. Holy. That looks so sweet with the cape and all. Did not expect that. I, I honestly thought it was just another Vernon. <laughs> Get some Heck blood. Yeah. Feel the blood in there. That's awesome. We're using this, man. Given that this is the rarest item from the Theater of Blood, it's pretty damn awesome to get this early. While the scythe is normally the strongest melee weapon when it comes to bossing, the relics in the league makes its DPS very similar to the Grazi Rapier. It is still technically better though, so we'll use this in a few places. For now, I happily welcome our 11th tile. Let's keep it moving. Since the league started, I had tracked 140 kills. Most of these were done in a group with clanmates, and all I got was a Nightmare Staff. I have reached 176 kills with only a Nightmare Staff to my name. <gasps> yes, dude! The Inquisitor's Plate Skirt! My first piece, my god, it has been so long. It has the same strength bonus as the Bandos Tacits, but look at the crush bonus, an extra 12. Just feels good to break the streak. After 177 Nightmare KC, I got my first bingo item the Inquisitor's Plate Skirt. When we're killing the Nightmare, the best possible things we could get in the next order would be the Hauberk and the Helmet to complete the set, to get the set bonus, or the Inquisitor Mace. Any of those would be great. The stabs are completely useless in this league, so. The next day, I went back to the Theater of Blood to hunt down the last two remaining items. Do a little spin. Aww. Wah, wah. Lots of food. Is this the one? This has to be the one. I think that's our quickest deal. Wow. Oh, we're getting really unlucky. Come on, man. 2317. Wow, nice. Nothing. You have to eventually see a purple like <gasps> Yay! Oh, it's a back it purple. <laughs> Finally. There we go. <laughs> yes! Hey, get in. Woo! There we go. Let's go. It's the mole, man. Awesome. It's our good luck job right here. <laughs> These duos worked out. I got a scythe yesterday and you got a rapier today. I continued to kill the nightmare all the way to 200 KC, but we did not see another item. 1650 on that was pretty quick. Hey. <laughs> Spaghetti. That looks so sweet with the cape and all. I got two sites on the account. What the heck? What is this ALK for? 2.4 mil. Oh, that's not as much as I was hoping for. 
Yeah, I got two scythes on the same day. I don't know what to say. I'm a spoon. But a second scythe does not help me. What I really need is the Sanguinesti staff. Now, I mentioned before that I have a few side goals while I'm killing the Nightmare. The scythe was side goal number one. And side goal number two is the Sanguinesti staff. This is because right now I'm stuck with a normal trident, which I use to hit the pillars on my way to scythe them. You get an extra eight max hits with the Sanguinesti staff, making it about 10% better. And when I'm not bossing, I'm skilling, going for the third side goal, the Dragon Cup. I'll need at least 56,310 League Points to acquire this item. And after getting 25 million Hunter XP, I am now 6,000 points away. But at this stage in the League, 6,000 points is a lot. And I was concerned about this. Something I had overlooked initially was that getting all four god swords could potentially get me 750 points. 250 for defeating a boss 500 times, and 500 for equipping every god sword. God, it's finally here. <sighs> I thought it was gonna go dry. 408 kills. With all four god swords acquired, we were officially halfway on the Devil's Bingo. Things were looking pretty good, so I decided to go back to the Nightmare. This is just unreal, dude. I got a harmonized orb at 222 KC. I'm, I'm speechless. Okay, let's put it in the staff. Ooh, boop. Look, I know I'm lucky, all right? I know I'm lucky, but like this item is so freaking rare. I, j <laughs> I don't believe it. So now I have two scythes and one harm orb. My bank value is ridiculous. <laughs> this is the miracle I needed. You know, maybe, just maybe, I had a shot at completing this thing. At the very least, my optimism was starting to return, and I felt on top of the world. I tried to enjoy the high while it lasted, because after all, I've played this game enough to know that a dry streak can happen at any moment. Holy, 10 on 4, that was a super fast kill. Actually, uh, I think I'm getting better at this. Wow, the 10 minute kill. I don't know how my kills are getting so much better, but man, that's sick. I don't even think I hit a lot of specs as well, with only one Inquisitor piece. All right, this is number 250 for some Cosmic Roots. Nice. Yeah, 50 kills since the Harm Orb, and not a damn thing. I was looking for a way to procrastinate, so I did this hard clue scroll. Okay, 
We got a hard casket. Let's see if we get anything. <gasps> I got the scroll book. Holy fuck, I got the scroll book. No way. No way. Can I do this? I have to put the scrolls in here. Damn it. I dropped some. Uh, okay, let, let's see here. I have some in my bank. This is good. No way. I can't believe I got this. I'm probably the only one with jeweler that has this. Okay, so I have 20 teleports. Let's see if it goes down. It is unlimited. So if I get one Cerberus scroll, then it's unlimited as well. And the Tybo one eye is really nice too. I mean, it's not amazing, but I, was, I didn't think I was gonna get it, man. Holy shit. So happy about this. So happy. If there was one bingo tile I was unreasonably worried about, it was definitely the master scroll book. Since I had passed the drop rate, I really just did not know if I had time to get it along with the rest of the item. So because we have this scroll book, I can now teleport to the lumber yard instantly. This means that I'll be able to do 25 mil construction because one, I can teleport here faster, and that's going to save a ton of time, a couple hours. And let's add a jar to the boss layer display, and that's another quite a few points just from construction there. There are the key master teleports. I was looking for these. I was hoping I would get these. Um, nice, we can teleport back with the teleport scroll. We will add these to the book, and now I have unlimited teleports to Cerberus. Boom, now we're here. And um, now we're back at the crafting guild. And as you can see, still got three scrolls, so it is unlimited. I have decided to camp Cerberus. Now that I have the scroll book, it's going to make banking much faster. So these kills should be incredibly quick. I don't know if I'm going to use the scythe the whole time, but for now, I'm going to use it. I have plenty of money in the bank, so. And there is Zami completed for 500 KC and 250 points. We're getting closer to that dragon cup. This is where all my extra cash goes. It goes into buying blood runes for my scythe. Yes, you're not dreaming. I'm killing the Kraken. Uh, there's a couple tasks on here that will give me a ton of points. At the same time, I'm hunting the saying staff whenever I have a theater of blood team. <gasps> Hello. Ch -ch 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 <sighs> here we go, boys. What is it gonna get? Yeah, I, I don't get excited. I got eight. I got eight in the bank. This is not my purple, but will I be salty? <sighs> Ooh, I'm not going to be upset. I'm not going to be upset at all. The saying staff had me a little depressed. And what do you do when you're depressed on RuneScape? You go kill the Kraken boss. That's right. I did two Kraken tasks in one sitting. There is 750 Kraken boss kills. We are at five Kraken tentacles in total, including I include my whip. <gasps> what? Oh my god. Ranger boots of 5kc, dude. Oh my god, I gotta make Pagasian boots. Holy fuck, man. That's so lucky. Oh my god. So I just add this crystal to the boots and... There we go, Pagasian boots have been made on the account. Uh, I was actually debating on if I should even camp mediums for these, but oh my gosh, that's, that's so silly. What a pleasant surprise. I had the chance to raid with some of the top people in the league at the time, and you could just see how fast we were raiding. We're getting about four raids an hour. I ended up doing a bunch of these. Sadly, I got zero purples, even though all our raids were deathless and the drop rate is one in three. Again, depression, and you know what that means. Wow, it's a jar of dirt. Very helpful for my depression. Okay, now that, that is pretty funny. <laughs> I have two in my inventory. <laughs> Number nine. I am so ready to be done. You have no idea because you just watched this grind in about five seconds, but it took a long time. I've been here for the past three days. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm so ready. Dude, I was supposed to finish this probably around 1300 and yeah, we had 200 kills over. We're done though. We're done. So I have nine Kraken tentacles in my bank. Of course, I have my Abyssal tentacle as well, which I still need for the Theater of Blood. So we won't do this task until that is complete. So I mentioned briefly that I was going to be hunting the Cerberus pet, but another pet I might go for as well is the Thermonuclear Smoke Double. Now, the drop rate is 1 in 3,000. 
same for Cerberus. And with the three tick scythe, as you can see, I'm just absolutely demolishing it. If my math's correct, I think these are some of the fastest pets we can go for at the moment. There are a couple unique drops from this boss, but they're so common. We're probably gonna have a bunch of these if we don't get the pet early. 500 Cerberus skills. A shield left half. I do it's honestly so weird that I have a max cape on this account. I'm so not used to it. Don't ask why I'm opening these crystal keys. Uh, I just, I just want the dragon stones. Since I'm still working on the dragon cup, another task I can do is 250 gargoyle kills. If we're lucky, we'll get a Torlamine core, which is also another task if we make guardian boots. Oh my god, the meme just doesn't stop. Every time I show this boss in a video, I always get granite gloves and a granite ring. Thank goodness. I forgot to record it, but I got the black Torlamine core. <sighs> That's a relief. I was starting to get a little worried uh, at this stage since we're almost at 250. Oh, come on. I have so many things on the floor. Can't even see. First things first, we are going to attach the Torlamine core to the Bandos boots, giving us some guardian boots. And we also have this nice addition to the loot tab as well. I love how that looks. The The loot tab's looking pretty nice. And that is the last kill to get us 54,500 league points. No matter how much I tried to avoid it, there is no getting around the nightmare. I had gone nearly 200 kills to get my first piece, and I dreaded going back to that place. I knew it would be torture. But some dark aspect of my brain drove me back. I couldn't see it then, but this self-loathing was beginning to change me. And the worst part is, I didn't care. Okay, here we go. The purple chest. Yeah, can we get the back-to-back? -back? <gasps> no way! Yes! No, finally, the dry streak has ended. Let's go. Let's do it. Ah, of course. Ah, why do I get excited? Ah, uh, my p favorite part of the kill when I get bass. Split, please. I got nature runes. Yeah. Uh, 327, please! Ah. 55 days into this thing. I miss Thanksgiving, my birthday, my mom's birthday. <sighs> my last big hotel was just about a week ago. And the worst part is, there's no way to tell when I will get my next item. I could go dry for the last couple weeks, which is a disheartening thought, and I'm not sure what I will do if that happens. Number 175. Nothing. What are these streaks, man? They're deathless. One and three. We're losing these, uh, these dice rolls. <laughs> hey, finally! Let's go. It's gonna be an Avernic, I'm not excited. Yep. Can we break the dry streak tonight? We cannot. We carry on. Carry on, brothers. All right, I'm gonna try out this bludgeon spec. See if we can get it to work. And no. Hey, 61, okay. Zero. 25 million wood cunny xp a little bit over 1000 lead points left my motivation for bossing is decreasing a lot i'm not sure if i'm just burnt out it is officially two days till christmas which normally i would be very excited about but i am i don't know i don't know It's gonna be an Avernic. It's a third Justicer Helm. Damn it. That is a uh, another Solastra seed. This is my second one. Or third. I, I can't remember actually. Eventually, 
Christmas did arrive, but I was no closer to my goal than I was two weeks ago. It seemed like there was no escape, and outside, the world was falling apart. My spirit to carry on was slowly diminishing. I stayed up all night, I lost my appetite, and as for my mental health, I sank to my lowest point. I was so close, and yet, so far. But if there's one thing I've learned from all my adventures, when you're down in the dumps, all you need is a little spark of hope. Oh, I got it. Holy fuck, I got it. Oh my god. Yes, dude. By sheer luck, I obtained the Hell Puppy on Christmas Day. It was my first time making progress in almost two weeks. It is one of my favorite pets, and I took it as a sign to keep going. Since we're on the topic of this tile, I should tell you my plans for the third pet. Since I can't bank on getting lucky again, my two best options are the Jad Pet and the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil. The Jad Pet because there are a lot of points you can get from the Jad tasks, and the Thermi Pet is one of the fastest pets I can go for. Normally, it's a task-only monster, but I have unnatural selection. And the drop rate is just 1 in 3,000, which is better than most other bosses. I can also get over 100 kills per hour with the 3 tick Scythe, which means going on drop rate for this pet is only about a 30-hour grind. Woohoo! A thousand kills! This is going by pretty quick. It's very AFK boss, so I don't I don't mind doing it. Number 200. 250 points for that. Sweet. Are we rewarded? Can we break the streak? Never. All right, there is the 30th Jad completed. I think um, I'll probably take a break. I have collected some capes to turn in. Uh, three left, two left, one more. Ah, unfortunate. Using all the herbs in my bank, I got 25 mil herb lore XP. The final task for the dragon tier. Kill number 350. It's uh, another milestone, I guess. Going dry. Is it actually one in 33, guys? Like, I'm by myself. I'm, I'm talking directly to you guys. Is it actually one in 33? Cause I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think it's not. This game's rigged. <sighs> All right, this is what I was talking about with using the bludgeon spec, as you can see. It doesn't always hit, but it's still fairly effective. All right, let's see if we can hit big. Oh, that's huge, 73. I've been doing this the past like maybe 50 kills. Okay, so I brought the dragon full helm with the gold trim just to, uh, I don't know, man. I think maybe it'll give me some luck here. I need something, I need I need to change things up because my setup is just, it's just not working. All right, dragon full helm, give me something good, please. Please, dragon full helm. Oh. Number three, six, six. Rune arrows, I'm guessing rune arrows. Bass, even better. Even better. What do you think it is? Zami Bruce. Okay. What's it gonna be? Adam Arrows. Ah, 372. This marks the 150th kill without a drop. Zamfuse, all right. Three or, I'm not really sure. Oh, <gasps> yes, yes, finally. And it's the one I want. Holy shit. Oh my God, finally. Finally, it's the drop I wanted. Oh my god, 150 solos on the league. 
to go dry for that. I thought about giving up on the league so much. Man, we, we did it. After roughly 1,800 minutes of the nightmare, I finally had my next item. The first kill after the Hauberk. I want to see if I can get to a sub 9 minute, but let's see what the loot is. Ah, some rune arrows. 30,000 blood runes, almost 31,000, and that should have lost us quite a little while. So if I run out of these, I should have some stuff to out my bank. 11,000 charges on the scythe. That's ridiculous. 1,500 thermi kills, and that's gonna be 1,800. Another dragon chain body. All right, 2,000 thermonuclear smoke devil killed. We, uh, we're about two thirds on the drop right here. Uh, so far it's not that bad though. I'm almost 200 mil attack, which is just, just the stupid thing to even say. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to move on to defense in a little bit. I think I'm gonna take a break from this and go back to Nightmare. Of the remaining Nightmare items, I'm only missing the helmet, the mace, and two of the orbs. It's a strange feeling knowing that I'm almost done with the League, but at the same time, I'm still so far away from finishing the Devil's Bingo. So the pressure is on. Do a slow walk for the first kill of the day. <sighs> Sandfuse? Nature runes. Hey, hey, hey. Addy ore for 390. 10 more to go for 400. Surely, surely, this has to be something special, right? Surely. Please, come on, please. Get me out of here. Ah. Why me? Oh no! I got so excited and it's it's the dupe, man. It's okay, look, it's okay. It'll, it'll look cool in the bank. We'll, we'll grow the bank value. 406, officially too dry. We're not dry. Oh, I guess I, we might be. I already know that I'm gonna need more cash later. So may as well do this now. So I've used so many blood runes that I need to make rune bars so I can make money. And now I have 8 million GP. Ah, the first one of the day. Any, how we started today with bass? All right, great. We have retired a little bit. I'm taking a break, but I just want to do something. I don't know, man. I can't kill Nightmare 24 seven, especially with soloing it. It's just, it's too much. I need something to do in the meantime. My loot tracker says 7K spitting wyverns now. And yeah, we'll see if that ever happens. <laughs> Ooh, 200 mil attack XP. Completely uh, just shows how much I've played the league. I guess we'll move on to defense. I don't think we're gonna get 200 mil on this because there is really not enough time. Yeah, we'll see if we get that. But other than that, we've got three 200 mils and we have 113 mil Slayer. That's, that's just stupid. 445 gold. Ah. 51 let's go goblin salute for soul rune wasn't really expecting to get but i just got anyways 25 mil smithing turns out it's one of the most afk things to do at this station to count oh my god this dude has the mushroom and he's it's like six days left this dude's still playing what a fucking champion man what a beast oh that that just made my day right there all right the first kill of the day Let's go. Can we turn this around with bass? No, we cannot. I'm looking at 7,400 kills of spitting, not to mention whatever I have for ancients and the other ones. So we're definitely over double the drop rate. I'm gonna stay here for a little bit, maybe like a thousand kills. I'm just hoping for the visage, but alas, it's pretty rare. So I don't know if we're actually gonna get it. That's gonna be 8,000 spitting wyverns kill. I'm not sure why I'm still here, to be honest. You'd think I would have given up by now, but I didn't do any nightmare yesterday or I don't even know if I did. I think I did a couple the day before, but really haven't done a lot. So it's time. It's time to crack down on this. I'm going to send one singular goblin salute and do the walk. It's coins. Surely it's sub 10. Surely. Oh. 
Oh, hi there. I already have one, but fuck. I'm happy. I've been pretty dry. If I get another orb, I can have two orb staffs in my bank. Once again, we're buying blood runes, man. I've used all of the charges I had before. I think I had like 11k. I spent it all. I spent that whole cash stack on blood runes. So let's just put every single blood rune into the scythe. And now we are at 13,000. 500 charges. This should last us quite a bit, if not for the whole league. So we'll see what happens. Man. We're back at Thermi. I'm gonna be chilling out a little bit. We're breaking the 2000 streak. I wanna go for a nice clean number this time. Purple, 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 purple. I'm gonna do Goblin Salute. Why not? Oh, oh. yes! Woo! It's an Avernic, dude. I can't wait. It's an Avernic, man. I'm so excited. I swear to God. It's a very nice. Kill number 3000. This determines whether we go dry for the pet. This kill right here. It's all on the line. And we are now dry for the pet. There's a reason why I've been so demotivated to complete this nightmare grind. And that's because I am very dry. For those who aren't aware how the nightmare works, each kill has a chance to roll two unique drop tables. One containing the armor, mace, and the staff and one containing the orbs. The chance of hitting the first unique drop table is effectively one in 120, and the orb drop table is one in 600. Technically, it is possible to hit both drop tables in one kill, which makes the chances of getting any unique item one in 100. And then of course, on the league, all drop rates are three times as common, so our drop rate for a unique item is one in 33. Technically speaking, I should have about 14 unique items so far, but I have four. Look guys, if you're wondering why this video is taking so long, this is the struggle that I have had to deal with. Number 480, some U logs. Hey, there's more sharks. 482. Oh no. That's not welcome here fuck all right i got the jar can i at least get like something new after the jar please oh <laughs> no hey well we got sand fuse to do more kills in this trip i was gonna beg uh i've never gotten a great helm but i can get dupes of all these items all day but just no gray helm <sighs> is this where the luck's turning around i mean if my streak is turning around i'm fine with this i'm feeling lucky why do i feel lucky oh, oh my god what the fuck oh my god the back to back and it's another dupe <laughs> oh my god i have two harmonies <laughs> What the hell, bro? Why do I get lucky in this way? I don't want to be lucky in this way. The question is, can we go three in a row? <laughs> ah, the streak ends. Dude, what is in my inventory? And now it's back to normal. Man, let's go check the bank. So my bank appears to be seven bill. I have some items out, but that's the majority of it. It's already over seven bill. I have two Inquisitor plate bodies two plate skirts, two harmonized orb staffs, two scythes. Oh my God. Why, dude? Why is this happening to me? Let's uh, use this up here. Yes, yeah, the nightmare. Oh my God, no, another one. Fuck, man. I, I'm breaking the dry streak and it's just the same. It's just the armor again, the same. Same one thing. Oh, we're closing in on 8 bill at this rate. Kill number 500. Can we get another drop, please? That's bass. God damn it. Number 510. Ah, I see. Another nightmare staff. The third one. We'll collect another one. It's the most common drop, so we can't really complain about that. All right, any back-to-backs? Uh, there's probably a slim chance of that, since the drops are just pouring in. Another one in the same trip. Jesus, what is this? Okay, I'm happy we're getting drops now. Uh, 
Uh, I'm happy we're getting drops now. I don't care if it's a dupe. It just proves that I'm not doing this in vain and that they exist. I guess I'll uh, add these uh, staffs to the collection. So now I have two Nightmare Staffs and two Harmonized or <laughs> Harmonized Nightmare Staffs as well. Oh, dear. Come on, Great Helm. I know you're there. Please. Oh, Sandfuse. We'll take those. All right, this is the helmet. I can feel it. It's it's gonna be bass, yeah. Uh, last one of the night though. Ten fifty one. Yeah, it's coal. I'm gonna try and use as many blood rune sight charges as I possibly can in the last couple days. I may as well be efficient with this. Alk while I'm killing Thermy. I could just alk my Justy, but I'm really trying not to. I might have to uh, end up doing it. Thirty three hundred kills. No pet yet. 14,000 charges left. There's only three days left, so I honestly don't even know if I'm going to use these. It'll be a miracle if I go through all of these. Alright, we are back to Nightmare. This is how it's going to be, man. We got to get a drop today. I believe, man. The new drop is coming in today. We're not losing hope. At least not for a while. Where is my Inquisitor Helm? Inquisitor's Great Helm! Alright, this one's definitely a trade screen. Do, do, do. Oh, it's another harmonized tour. <laughs> Oh, what the f- I fucking don't know what to say. It's so rare. It's not what I want, but it's so fucking rare that I got three of them. No matter how hard I tried, it just seemed like nothing was working. But I refused to give up. I mean, what else did I have left? I had sacrificed so much time to get to this point. All I could possibly think to do was keep going, even though the odds are stacked against me. As of right now, I have a little bit more than 12 hours left of the league. Assuming it's about like five kills an hour, means we only have like 50 to 70 kills left. So if I don't finish Nightmare or get new drops, then F my life, man. No! No, dude, no. I saw it and it, I realized that it was <laughs> oh, it's my fourth one, isn't it? Fuck, man. No. Why me? This could be the last drop we see on the league, man. So I have two hauberks, four plate screens, <laughs> and three harm staffs. Jesus. All right, are we going to break the streak? Great helm, please. Great helm. Uh, here we go. Spin. Spin. This one's a trade screen, boys. Here we go. What's it gonna be? It's bass, right? Yeah, fucking. How did I even know that, dude? God damn it. <laughs> this one is really taking a lot of me. Oh, nice. More bass. Back to bass. Here we go. Another drop. Oh my god, guys. That's the back to back to bass. Did we lose it? 624 bass. 625 bass, and the one before it was definitely bass. I'm a man on a mission for this Inquisitor Great Helm right here. Fuck my goddamn fuck, dude. Fuck my fuck, dude. <laughs> Why, man? Ah! That is number three. Three on the hauberk, and I have four skirts. Three hauberks and four skirts, and no helmet. Oh my god, dude. Of course I get a fucking 
Hauberk again. So I have seven Inquisitor pieces and no helmet. Jesus Christ, dude. The back to beans. Here we go, guys. The back to beans. So that's like two bill. And then this is three bill. 3.6 bill right here. So this is five bill in my inventory. It's so dumb. The perfect chance. Here we go. Ceridome and Bruce. This is the helm. I can feel it. It's in my loins. Grey helm. Soul runes, not Grey helm. <gasps> new item! It's the worst one I could have gotten, but it's a new item. Fuck, dude. The green Skittle. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. It's new, but it sucks. Ah. Uh... It looks good. I've this is my first Eldritch Orb drop ever in the main game as well. I've never seen one. At least we got Sam Fuse so we can stay here longer and kill more Nightmare. Put on the green. Green for luck. Green for luck. I think that puts me at 500 solos. I kept killing the Nightmare after the Eldritch Orb, but eventually... The system update was initiated. By this point, I realized there was no possible way of me finishing the Devil's Bingo. I had failed. But something prevented me from logging out in that last hour. I'm not sure what it was, but eventually, the clock struck zero. My 70-day adventure had ended in defeat. The Eldritch Orb put my bank value at 9.3 bill. To this day, I cannot find a single person who has topped my bank value on the Trailblazer League. So I think it's safe to say that I was the richest person in the entire game mode. As the league came to a close and everyone paraded around the Grand Exchange, I couldn't help but feel content. It is true, I failed the Devil's Bingo, and everyone watching this will know me for that. But at the very least, I know that I gave it my all.